Hi, and welcome back to Stories of the Saints. On January 28th, we celebrate the feast day of St. Thomas Aquinas. Thomas is believed to have been born in a castle located near Sicily, which is known as the Lazio region of Italy. In 1225 AD, his parents were well off, but as the youngest son, Thomas was expected to enter the monastery. At five years old, Thomas began his education at Monte Cassino, where he remained until the military conflict between Emperor Frederick II and Pope Gregory IX reached the Abbey. He was then transferred and enrolled at the Stadium of General in Naples. It is believed that Thomas was introduced to his philosophical influence such as Aristotle at the university, where he also met St. Julian, a Dominican preacher who influenced him to join the recently founded Dominican order. When Thomas' family learned of his decision, his mother arranged for him to be moved to Paris. When Thomas was traveling to Rome, his brother captured him and returned him to their parents' castle of Monte San Giovanni Campirano. Thomas was held captive in the castle for one year as his family tried to keep him from joining the Dominican order. In the year he was held, Thomas tutored his sisters and communicated with members of the Dominican order. In an effort to change Thomas's mind, two of his brothers hired a prostitute to seduce him. But legend claims Thomas drove her off with an iron roasting in fire. That night, two angels appeared to him in a dream and strengthened his resolve to remain celibate. When Thomas's mother realized she couldn't sway her son, she tried to preserve the family's name by arranging for him to escape through a window. She believed a secret escape was better than appearing to accept his decision. Following his escape in 1244, Thomas turned to Naples, went to Rome, and met the mother general of the Dominican order. The next year, Thomas went to study at the Faculty of the Arts at the University of Paris. Thomas was famously known as a quiet student at the university, leading other students to believe that he was mentally dumb. But professors prophetically said, you call him the dumb ox, but in his teaching, he will one day produce such a blowing that it will be heard throughout the world. Following the conclusion of his education, Thomas taught in Cologne as an apprentice professor and instructed students on the books of the Old Testament. It was during this time he wrote many books, and in 1256, Thomas was appointed regent master in theology at Paris. While teaching, Thomas wrote his famous work, Summa Theologia, which he believed was to be a useful book for beginner students in theology. At the conclusion of the Regency, the Dominicans called Thomas to establish a university wherever he wanted with a staff of whoever he wished. He established the university in Naples and took the Regent Master Post. In 1273, Thomas was seen crying at levitating in prayer before an icon of the crucifix, Christ, at the Dominican Covenant of Naples in the Chapel of St. Nicholas. During this prayer, Christ is said to have told him, you have written well of me. Thomas, what reward you have for your labor? Thomas replied, nothing but you, Lord. Following this exchange, something happened, but Thomas never wrote or spoke of it. He abandoned his routine and when begging to return to work, replied, I cannot because all that I have written seems like straw to me. In May of 1274, Thomas was called to the Second Council of Lyon, where his work for Pope Urban IV would be presented while journeying to the meeting. Thomas hit his head on the branches of a fallen tree and fell ill. He received his last rites and prayed, I receive thee, ransom of my soul. For love of thee have I studied and kept vigil toiled, preached, and taught. Thomas died on March 7, 1274, during a commemoratory of the Song of Songs. It is not known who beatified Thomas, but on July 18, 1323, Pope John 22 canonized him. If you like this video about St. Thomas Aquinas, please press the like button. And if you'd like to learn more about the saints, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, if you want to become a premium member and watch cinematic movies about the saints, all you have to do is go to thechristianchannel.com and support us by subscribing to our yearly streaming service on your smart TV. Thank you for watching, and God bless.